Hello everyone, this is Stefan at the NECA booth at San Diego Comic Con 2023. Awesome toy vlog, welcome to NECA. Cool, We've got thank you. tons of stuff to show you today. We're gonna start with the turtles case, which are vast. We have, of course, our famous turtle lines here. Uh, Last Ronin, we've got tons of new stuff on display. We've got uh, Donatello, Splinter, Michelangelo, Patrol Bot, Casey Jones, Footbot, Leonardo, and a few hidden yeah, little secrets in there from this Last Ronin. Even Battle Damage Raphael took some arrows to the back of this one. Our Last Ronin line is really expanding this year, and everybody loves the comic book. The art, the story, everyone is super into it. And uh, I think this is around 11 or 12 figures now uh, that we're showing on display here. Um, all of which will be out before the end of the year for sure. It's really an iconic story in Turtles lore, so it's good that it's getting its due. Absolutely, and the figures are definitely no slouch. They they look like the art, they come with awesome accessories, and uh, it's great to work on something brand new on the Turtle franchise. So. Hard to find at this point. Yeah. Cool, and after our last Continue with Turtles, yeah, we keep with the comic book theme, the classic Mirage Turtles from the old school comics back in the day. We're showing off for the first time Casey Jones, Baxter Stockman, the Turtles 4-pack, that's out now, Savanti Romero, uh, Fugitoid, Rat King we're showing for the first time, um, Mikey uh, the Wanderer, Boutron, and a debut today for you guys showing off the Leatherhead. So that line is constantly growing as well. That's a, a lot of stuff that's going to be out towards the end of the year for this Mirage Turtles line. You guys have really had a ton of luck with Turtles doing things that no one else is really doing. Absolutely. Especially considering how challenging it was to get going. Absolutely. The line has really grown in an impressive way. It was a challenge and we started off small but strong and uh, started with exclusives at the shows. And as we built that fan base and uh, the demand was there, we kept going with every certain, you know, we started with the movie stuff, then we went back to like the comics, then we went into cartoon, and that the cartoon line, I mean, has uh, over 100 figures at this point. Wow, well. that's really impressive. Into everything. And uh, wow. speaking of the movie, we're doing more from Secret of the Ooze this year. Uh, for the first time, we're showing off uh, the Shredder's Throne and a Professor Perry two pack. I call it Perry Squared. It will be in his lab coat, and the other Perry will be in his uh, hazmat suit. We're also going to have Kino uh, fighting uh, the Foot Clan in a two-pack and a Foot Soldier two-pack from The Secret of the Ooze, the second Turtles movie from 91, I believe. And a kind of a line of our own, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles meets Universal Monsters, a kind of mashup and homage to the old toy line. We didn't follow it exactly, but we uh, certainly put our own spin on things. Um, Showing up for the first time, we have Raphael uh, as the Wolfman and Leonardo as the creature from the Black Lagoon. That this is kind of a natural. Well. It's kind of a natural thing for you guys to do, considering your deep expertise in Absolutely. classic monster in, figures. In classic that. monster figures, we have the Universal Monsters license, which is growing and growing, and uh, it was a perfect opportunity for us to bring turtles together with that, but also create some of our own designs, you know, not follow movies exactly yep. like we always do, or uh, cartoons or what have you, uh, but to come up with something uh, of our own and something fun for us is always exciting. Very so, cool. Yeah, very some lucky sculptors had some fun. Oh, they, they absolutely did. They're, they're able to finally create some things instead of just following the reference. You know, uh, to the nail. So, Cartoon Turtles obviously is our biggest turtles line, and uh, we have two huge display, three huge display pieces. Yeah, you mean uh, biggest uh, in the literal sense. The literal sense. We have the final van here after all of the changes that were made in updates. We listened to the fans, we changed a few things around, and we have the final van to shot here on display for the first time. Um, we're also showing off Evil Rex 1, and um, these turtles, if anybody's interested, will be separate release ultimates as well later this year. Oh, very good. Um, big surprise, literally a big surprise, a 20 inch crank is looming over the city, and uh, it is definitely a, uh, an opposing villain for the turtles. A big chonky boy. He is chonky. Um, in the turtle's lair, this is an actual tool, uh, like final piece of the turtle lair we're showing off. It will come with this foam board uh, top layer, 
which will be great because it can hold the van, it can hold the dioramas, it can hold figures on top and at the bottom. We're showing off uh, Casey Jones in the suit, uh, Space Usagi, and uh, Space Adventure and Samurai Adventure. And that's really clever about the foam works, unless you use that's build right. up on top of it. To use both uh, both avenues that people can either use, you know, they can put something on top or they can take it off and just have the layers up to them. Yep. It gives them some place features and uh, extra space. And extra space, really, to store more things. Which is what we all need. We all need it. Um, speaking of extra space, the Archie line is growing. We're showing off Belly Bomb and the Stump Wrestling Turtles for the first time here, as well as Mondo Gecko from the Archie line. Very so sweet. that's always expanding um, the Archie complex there as well. We have a Year of the Rabbit box set coming out this year. It is the Year of the Rabbit, so we thought we'd do an Usagi box set with four different versions of Usagi all coming in a, in a four pack. Very cool. So there's some excellent turtle goodness on the way. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely jam-packed. You can see there's over uh, 40 figures here alone of new stuff that's coming from turtles. So it's uh, it's non-stop for turtle fans, but that's the way they like it. So. But NECA is hardly just a turtle factory. Absolutely. We have, of course, our bread and butter at the end of the day. For 20 years now, since Randy started the uh, Hellraiser line at NECA, horror is synonymous with NECA. Um, Prey big hit from last year, bringing the Predator back, uh, was awesome, and we're having that on display for the first time, the Feral Predator. Um, and it's the 101st anniversary of this movie, Nosferatu, Amazing from uh, movie. 1922 silent film, one of my favorites, Count Orlock is on display today, with multiple heads, multiple hands. Um, Lon Chaney Sr. played this character in 1925, London's After Midnight, London After Midnight, Professor Edward C. Burke. This movie was lost um, in a fire, and no one's ever seen it. We only have still images remaining. Universal Monsters has continued to grow with uh, Creature from the Black Lagoon. We have two different versions of Creature. We have the colored version, the black and white version. We have the Bride of Frankenstein. And showing for the first time, too, is Frankenstein. They'll come with the bread, the soup, and the yeah, that's so cool. cigars. Continue on with the Universal Monsters. We have the Retro yeah. Creatures yeah. line. Yeah. 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 It's based off the old 1980 line. Uh, right? Yeah. Uh, we have Creature actually as a Comic Con exclusive this year at the booth, at the NECA booth. But Dracula and Phantom will be available later this year. Their skin glows in the dark and they come on that retro blister, which is cool. Uh, Big the, old fans, card. the fans demanded, and we're back with more Puppet Master. Uh, we did Blade and Tunneler and uh, Torch and uh, Pinhead, the first wave, and now we're coming up with Six Shooter and Jester, which will be a two pack for Puppet Master. John Carpenter's 1982 classic, The Thing, is one of my personal favorites, and it's awesome to bring an actual right, thing, a creature to life with the dog thing. It comes with over 40 different interchangeable parts that you can plug the tentacles in the legs, the legs and the tentacles, hands off, arms off. People are going to have a crazy wild time with this. It all comes in one absolutely amazing package. And we also have Final Battle in the Queen as well. So kind of like the Going on to some, some more modern horror, The Nun. I believe the trailer for Nun 2 was just released. We've got an ultimate Valak on display here. She'll have multiple heads. Um, she actually comes with the painting and soft goods tailored clothing. Michael Myers from Michael Halloween Myers. Ends, the third and final chapter of the Blumhouse, Blumhouse trilogy, is here on display. Chucky from season one of the TV Chucky show. He has four heads uh, and interchangeable parts as well to create that melted look. And from the classic 1981 Bloody Valentine, the ultimate minor. Very good. You can never have enough Michael Myers. That's right. Michael Myers is awesome. Even though... I mean awesome from a sort of not personally interacting kind of way. Right, exactly. I mean, just sort from of a distance. in general, he's awesome. From a distance, he's awesome. Don't want to really hang out with Creeping him. in the shadows, he's awesome. And on the shelf, he's awesome. So... A little surprise we have here, Alex Murphy from Robocop. Before he turns into Robocop, we have Murphy here, and he'll have the battle damaged chest, battle damaged arm, battle damaged wrist, and multiple heads. I did want to mention this too. This, uh, a little surprise. This a surprise for him too. Yeah. <laughs> 20 years since House of the Thousand Corpses. Can you believe it? We're already here. 
Spalding and Otis will be released as single pack figures later this year as a little nod to our line back in the day. And there'll be a vintage Big Head three pack of Otis Spalding and Yeah, definitely excited about that. Rob Zombie's literal monster hit from uh, the um, Monsters from Netflix came out uh, earlier last year. And we're continuing the line with Lily. Showing her off for the first time. And what's good is that they're close enough to classic monsters, good where if you're up. a fan of a cla of the classic monsters, they still work for you. Absolutely. Right. It's not so the design work it's wasn't so shocking. different to make Absolutely. it be like, well, that's not my Lily monster. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Lily and Count are here on display, and uh, Lily will be here later this year. She'll be released later this year. Dungeons and Dragons is continuing strong. We. Um, started off with Warduke and Grimsword, which were a big hit, and we're showing off for the first time Zarek, Elkhorn, and Strongheart, all of which will be released later this year. It's a great classic homage to the LJN toy line back in the day, back in 1980. We really hope to do more, and this line has gotten a really positive response from people, so um, we're happy to show off more of those uh, at Top Run. Gargoyles is a huge line for us and it's expanding. It was just kind of hinted the other day um, that there would be a possible live action with Kenneth Branagh. We don't know if that's true yet, but we do have figures from the classic 90s cartoon on Disney. Um, for the very first time, we're showing off a Vows 2-pack, which would be Goliath and Demona. Um, a lover's two-pack, if you will, with lots more expressions, hands, accessories, folded wings. Their daughter, Angela, will be released with a baby version of herself. Um, we'll have a, an exclusive Silver Falcon version of Detective Broadway from the Silver Falcon episode, full with the, complete with the tailored trench coat and folded wings. We're also showing off Lexington, Lisa Maza, and Xanatos in the suit for the first time. Armored Xanatos uh, will come with an interchangeable head as well, so you can put it where it is. Flash Gordon is a brand new license and a brand new reveal for us here at Comic-Con 2023. Our first three figures in the line are Ming in his red military suit, Flash from the final battle, and Voltan. Each with multiple heads uh, with different expressions, and uh, Voltan actually has interchangeable helmet and hair pieces. So you can switch them up for every expression. Very cool. Disney's and ABC's beloved dinosaur series. We've got Earl and Baby on display. We would love to do the rest of the family. I would absolutely love to do the rest of the family, but those are the first two that we're showing off today. Right. Gremlins uh, continues this year with the tattoo set, and we have an exclusive showgirl Gre Greta Gremlin at Comic Con. And that's the Comic Con exclusive out. That is the Com Cosmic Con exclusive out. Oh, it's a Cosmic Cosmic Con, Con exclusive out. I like the going dark. He's on display. He's got a better shirt than I do today. <laughs> He's got a better shirt than most of us. He's kept out. Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, is a brand that's growing at NECA, and we have multiple things on display for her this year. Uh, the uh, Red Fright and Boo uh, will be out later this year, as well as a Santa Scary Xmas version of Elvira. She'll come with the creature that was stirring some ginger dead men, and of course, a naughty list. Right. Yeah. Terror is Elvira with the couch. She's coming with the couch and her dog. That'll be released later this year as well. It's definitely a nice set for sure. Tootie Terror is a huge line for us at NECA. We've got Killer Clouds out, we've got They Live, we've got Teen Wolf. And showing off for the first time is Series 8, which will be Vampira, Sven Gulli, Captain Spaulding from House of a Thousand Corpses, and from the hit movie last year. Tootie Classics is a, a subline of Tootie Terrors where we can just do things from famous cartoons. Like ALF, we have here that are out now, and we're showing off for the first time Pee Wee Herman with Terry. Tootie Pee Wee. Um, Five points of articulation in the base, and also DC tunas we're stepping out with Superman and the Joker. Our retro 8-inch and music line continues. We have the ultimate fiend, the mascot from the Misfits. I recently went to a show of theirs, which was an absolute blast. He has multiple heads, hands, album covers. Freddie Mercury, a nod to our vintage, uh, or to our vintage figure back in 2006, 2007, somewhere in there. He does feature new uh, heads with new deco and um, updated window box. 
Willie Nelson, we revealed him on uh, April 20th, 420. Uh, he comes with his trigger guitar. And last but not least, my personal favorite, Elton John from 1976. He comes with his full piano, microphone, and bench, and multiple uh, expressions. Perfect. DC props, continuing with movie props, we have the bat belt, which is actually available right now. There's so many parts and pieces that can interchange uh, for playability and for wear. Uh, we have also a, a line of the 1966 Batman stuff coming out, including Batgirl's Walkie Talkie with real frill and extending antenna, the Batman's radio, which has uh, antennas that slide up and down, and it has an LED, and the Bat Cuffs, which actually have magnetic function. Very fantastic. There's really something for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. From DC to Turtles to horror to, to music to Elvira to dress to belts Chinese, to dress belts and handcuffs. We got, so you've got everything you need here at NECA. <laughs> Cool. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Oh, thanks and, for uh, having enjoy. us, Stefan. Absolutely. Very much. Let me know if you